I liked the student-led conferences and I thought that it was a good way to do it. And like, I know I've never done that kind of thing before, like where it's an hour long and I've never really done it for other classes either. <laughs> And I've never really had like this big portfolio. Like in third grade I had a folder and last year in fourth grade all I had was just like a piece of, piece of folder paper or something. And I think that the kids next year should do the same thing because it's like, it kind of is, it's like, well, what would you different? What would you recommend we do differently about it? Is there anything that you would change? If there is, come back, raise your hand again, and I'll come back and talk with you. Maybe you could like make sure that everyone was done at least a week before their conference, because like if they're not done, then it wouldn't be very easy for the, for their conference, and they couldn't do it. So like maybe you should make sure that everyone's done. Were you well prepared for yours? Yeah. Yeah. Isabel? Um, um, I think that um, I like doing the, um, the rubric. I thought it was a good way to write down our notes. But I would have um, given more time in class to maybe do it. To prepare for it? Yeah, like maybe we could have like a block, hmm. like, an, like an hour or 30 minutes on the Chromebooks to do it or something like that. It's totally doable. Or we could pair up with people and we could like read it over and say like, well, maybe I'd change this to make it a little bit more clear. Yeah, that's good. Would you have the kids next year do it? Yes, I would. What is um, I think that you should, um, well, with the, when you had to download the, um, the, the, the form. Yeah, the form. I think that you should kind of make it a little easier so that everyone gets one because it's kind of confusing when you can't highlight it. So, yeah. Sure, I get it. Uh, did you find it valuable? Um, I did because I thought it was much better than just sharing your portfolio like I've done like the past five years mm -hmm. and um, I think it's better to just talk about everything instead of showing your portfolio out or just showing little pieces of activities that you did so I think that was fun to do yeah I like the fact that you talk about your life that's what I like about it I mean you can talk about your whole life like how you're changing and the things you enjoy doing um, I think it was really, it's, it just proves different from all the other conferences that I've taken in the past because, well, first of all, we have refreshments. And second of all, um, instead of just going through the entire portfolio, like Audrey said, you sort of um, show your parents your planner and it only shows like the main details and then you can go into your portfolio to, to support that. Because if you're just showing them the work from the portfolio, like, what does that even mean? And also, I think what would help the students more who weren't as organized, like maybe you could have a table by the front door with all the, and you could ask the kids for their portfolios and planners and lay them out on top of each other. So the kids could like, as soon as they walk in, they could grab it and get going instead of having to like find it. A part of me thinks that you're old enough now that it, it changes, that uh, in years past it might be that way, but n now my, I'm wondering whether really for next year, you would you feel that we should have them all available at the front door or the kids take responsibility for them? What, what do you think? Um, I don't know. I think it's up to the teacher because like both ways work. And I'm, and both kids can do both ways, so it's just... Would you have the kids next year do it? The same way? Or what would you change about it? Um, I think next year, um, I'm not really sure because this year's conference was one of my favorite ones so far. If you do have ideas, share it with me before the um, end of the school year. I really
really enjoyed like the format of how um, the student-led conference this year worked. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, the refreshments and food was helpful. Good, yes, and <laughs> um, that we had an hour to talk to our parents about it. Not like last year, we had like fifteen minutes or so to um, like talk talk to our talk to our parents about um, what we did this year. But, uh, and um, I also liked when um, we had like we when we had the planner to sort of. Um, <coughs> Not really, um, to sort of like look at it and so that you're not making up things like there on the spot, right. but you have something to refer to. And also, um, it was sort of fun to um, talk to your parents about like how you're changing and what you want to be when you grow up and like what are your, um, how do you think you're smart. And it, w it was fun to see what your parents had to add to that. Like, mm. if. Mm, um, cool. Yeah. Did you find the, the fact that they were going to give you a, a score, what did that do for you? Did well, it make any difference? It, if they didn't do that, would, have you, would the conference have been different? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I, um, if, it was, if there wasn't a rubric after, um, then maybe I wouldn't have maybe asked for their opinion about huh. What about you, Aiden? Uh, because there was a rubric that your parents were doing, did it make a difference for you? Yeah, I think it's fun um, to have a parent, um, rubric that your parents are doing, and it proves more helpful also because, like, you get to see only t a little part of our conference, and you know our work from the, pa the past year, but also we may perform differently in the conference, and only our parents were the ones with us that whole time. Mm -hmm. And if they can figure out the rubric, which most of them did probably, I think it would be a better idea than you grading it or ourselves grading it. And you know that grade doesn't go into the yeah. in power school. It's unrelated. Shuot, what do you think? Um, I really enjoyed this conference because, like, we had free time. Like, like we could take as much time between, like, an hour was max. But, like, it gave us a lot more time to share what we wanted to share and not just go through our portfolios in 10 minutes like we did last year. That's what we did for student-led conferences last year, and I think that this was a helpful way because you could also incorporate it into your life outside of school, and the planner and the planner really was pretty helpful because you could um, put all of your information you wanted to share in there, and um, yeah. In it, and um, when we did our when we did our um, student-led conference, we were allowed to just um, show whatever we wanted in the portfolio instead of browse, instead of showing every single one. And I like the rubric because um, um, the parents had the best perspective of us, and they were the ones who were watching us. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe in your family you always talk to your mom and dad about serious things in a serious way. But uh, for lots of families, this is the one time you can sit down and say, so how's the school year going, you know, and, and what have you accomplished this year? Angelina, what do um, you think? For our conference, we didn't have to just talk about what we do in school, but we can talk about stuff we did outside of school and mm. how we can connect to, like, the learner profile. And it was more exciting this year because last year we were just like, oh, this is our uh, story we made, and we weren't that specific, but this year we were just like talking about the whole entire year and, and like, not just sitting there going through our portfolio, and it would lose our parents' attention, so... Do you think that the kids next year should do the same thing? Yeah. How would you change it? Or would you change it? I don't really have any big achievement about this conference because it's been the funnest out of all the other ones I did. Uh-oh. Um, <coughs> one of the only things that I might change for next year would be to definitely, like some people said, have more time to work on it in class. Mm -hmm because you didn't get that much time and it was just for homework every night. Like that too, and maybe it should be kind of encouraged even more to do it 
with your parents along the hmm. way because it can definitely save time and it can benefit in many ways. But just have more time in class and um, um, be encouraged to do it with your parents <coughs> too and have them involved with um, putting things down in it and thinking about it. Um, I think he was pretty good otherwise. There's, I, I liked it. How many of you did it with your parents? I mean, actually, they were actively involved when you were putting things in, as opposed to you're doing it, then they come in. Um, I don't know. We do it because I think it's important. And so you could do your conference even before you come in. If you spent the entire time building it with your parents, it's like it's kind of done, isn't it? Seth, what do you think? Well, um, I think it was, uh, I like the amount of time, and um, it's different because there's multiple kids in the room, and... That sometimes, like um, last year, the teacher would sit down with us and like listen and like ask questions and stuff. And but you always sat what down with like one part, and mm -hmm. then like the rest of the time you're just like wandering around, wandering around the room, handing out cookies and juice. <laughs> and um, 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 five or six sheets of paper, and then we'd have to. Um, it's like, um, are you caring, compassionate? And then we'd have to state with detailed examples. And then we'd ask questions like, um, I, um, do you enjoy writing? And then you'd um, have to, um, there'd be a little um, five bo boxes and you'd have to check off if it was a one, two, three, or four, or five in PYP grade scale. And then we'd have to, um, be like, if we would say, yes, I enjoy reading, then you would have to write, um, you'd have to explain with examples why you enjoyed it. But you have to admit, when you first saw that form, y'all went, are you kidding me? <laughs> like well, it was 12 what, pages long or something. Yeah. Else. I mean, my next question is about the, uh, is about hand out forms and everyone goes, ah, and immediately the, the deflate, everyone is deflated and you use the word reflection and all the kids go, oh God, not again. So you've got all this stuff written down. No parent wants to hear you read what you've written. How did you engage with them? How did you present? Um, what I did was I um, I showed it to my mom and dad, and then first we would um, take we took a sheet of paper, and we each category we'd write down like we just write down like one <coughs> word, and then we'd try and um, put put it into sentences. Oh, I see. Okay, so, so they did it together. Have a card yeah. And you could then yeah. Can oh. you add to she helped me with it, and like I wrote it all down, like Isabella said. But like some of it, it was like it didn't really make sense the way I said it, and oh. she kind of helped me make it more okay. sense. Cool. Yeah. And then during the conference, we like it was different from last year because last year I just flipped through my my what's it called portfolio, oh, yeah. portfolio. Thank you. Um, talking about it, but this year I could like talk about myself and okay. how I've changed at home and Okay, so it's about school. learning in general, not mm -hmm. about your class. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think I've got a pretty good idea. Can I ask you guys this? I'm going to expect you guys to come in there.